I bought it, but sadly, I'm returning it. Here's why. Hello, my friends. Jetrin is here. I know. Where have I been? Listen, life just gets busy, all right? So I apologize for not consistently uploading, but today we finally got some new bags from Marc Jacobs. And if you watched my last video, you will know that I was kind of manifesting for three bags from them i got two out of the three so let's show you guys so starting off with the first one here is the mark jacobs mini leather tote bag in the color wolf gray and uh <laughs> such a perfect neutral bag i have a thing for gray handbags so i just knew I was going to buy her. And for the second handbag, this is the newest, latest Marc Jacobs micro bag in the leather version. And this is the color cotton. I mean, it just looks so freaking gorgeous. It's so cute. I, I just want to eat it. <laughs> Now, before I show you guys more details, what fits in here, mud shots, and kind of tell you why I'm returning her, uh, let's just get to know this one just a little bit because there are some differences between this and the original one I bought. This color did debut back in October of 2022. It was a part of their resorts collection. You know, I think they were trying to push this color out there, but shockingly, I didn't really see a lot of people talk about it. The best way I can describe this, it's like a medium gray with like a blue undertone. Depending on the lighting, it can look like a very light blue color bag. And then in a darker setting, it can look like a very dark gray bag. I think lighting really plays a key role. You're getting best of both worlds with the color and it just, it matches with a lot of outfits. I personally think it's the perfect neutral bag in my opinion. So comparing the gray one to my black one, there's really no differences other than the color itself however i do want to point out two differences that i noticed as you can see from the base they went ahead and added a extra protection of leather material so that the foundation has a little bit more support so it can kind of prevent it from sagging and i love this not saying that my black one is sagging but if you can prevent it from sagging why wouldn't you the second difference that i noticed is the price point if you're familiar with the mini size it used to be 375 dollars just like last month and now it has gone up by twenty dollars making it 395 dollar usd i don't think the price is so like dramatic i mean twenty dollars not a big deal okay compared to other brands that's going up for like fifty a hundred dollars i think twenty dollar is doable so i'm not mad but just to let you guys know they're going up in price <laughs> Oh, and by the way, talking about pricing, I'm pretty sure you're wondering how much I got this for because you know me, I never buy anything full price. So I actually bought this from Neiman and Marcus, used their 15% off discount code when you sign up for a new email account. On top of that, I did go ahead and use Rockyton, which is a cashback site. At the time, it was about like 20% cashback, 20%, 15%, making it 35% off. With tax, I end up paying $279, which let me tell you, I, I, I think it's a good price, you know? I'm telling you, there's always ways to save money and that's my hack, so definitely use it. I'm just gonna snip, snip, and it's officially mine, so. <laughs> All right, so with that out of the way, let's move on to what we're really here for. The latest and newest Marc Jacobs micro size in the leather version. And honestly, I really don't know what took them so long to make this. <laughs> now, prior to this material, they did come out with like sequins, croc skin, the Marc Jacobs monogram canvas, and also like teddy bear inspired material. I don't really like any of those, to be honest. Just up until this past January, they came out with the first color Color, which is red and in the past month they did roll out different colors such as the classic black which is my favorite a blue a green an orange a rose champagne color the color cotton which is like an off-white and the most popular one that I've seen is in the pink I mean this color all over my Instagram feed okay like people are literally obsessed with the color pink <laughs> every color besides black and red are limited edition colors only for the spring of 2023 so if you do like a color that you see definitely buy it now 
or forever hold your peace. After this, they are being discontinued and you won't be able to get your hands on it. Now, currently this bag does retail for $325 USD. Obviously, I saved some money. I did save 20% off by doing the whole method on Neiman and Marcus and Rockyton. So I end up paying $278 for this. Pretty much the same price as the gray one. <laughs> the micro size does measure at 10.6 in length, 13.2 in width, and 5.9 in depth. Now looking at the feature of the micro, pretty much it's the same exact feature as the mini and the medium. It has the top two handles that does not fold down. It does have the detachable and adjustable shoulder straps along with the zipper pull. Inside does not have a back pocket, which it's not the worst thing in the world. I do think because of how small it is, maybe they didn't want to add more things in here and make it more heavy. At the end of the zipper tabs, there is no magnet like the ones on the mini and and medium size i don't know why they took it out maybe due to weight or maybe it's unnecessary who knows it doesn't bother me as much um i think i can kind of live without it so you know something to note this would not be a handbag review if i don't show what fits inside of this little cute gem so i did go ahead and put in my mini pochette from louis vuitton it fits perfectly inside like i was very surprised i went ahead and placed my yso card holder my louis vuitton four key ring holder i do have the iphone 12 pro which does fit i always carry a battery pack with charger because my phone is constantly dying i do have a hand sanitizer from touchland so cute and last but not least it does fit my Ray-Ban shades with the case. You do kind of have to maneuver it a little bit, but it does zip all the way. So I was very surprised at how much this micro size fit all my basic essentials. So here are some comparisons next to each other. Obviously, I compare it to the mini size. It definitely makes the mini like way bigger. But in terms of measurements, it's about like two, three inches off from each other. I went ahead and compared it to the Louis Vuitton Speedy Nano and the Louis Vuitton keep all xs i do think they're relatively close to each other here's a mod shot of me carrying the bag by the way i am 5 8 in height and the leather strap is on the third hole you can handheld carry the bag by the top handles your hand can fit into the handles so i do like this for this reason by using the straps you can use it as a shoulder bag or my preferred method is cross body now just for fun, here is a comparison to the mini size. So with that being said, who does this bag cater to for the most? If you are a minimalist, you don't care a lot of things, this is probably a better option than the mini or medium size. This is great for a weekender bag, you going on a date night, casual hangout, or most importantly, traveling. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I do travel, I wanna take like smaller handbags only because it doesn't take up a lot of space in my suitcase. If you are an average height like I am, or if you are taller than me, I do think this size looks fine as well. I don't think it looks funny because it's considered micro. So with that being said, not only is she cute, but she is functional in carrying our basic essential in one piece, which, who doesn't love that? Now with all good things come some cons and here are my reasons on why I'm sadly returning her. I know, I know, but hear me out. So the number one reason doesn't have to do with the sizing. It mostly has to do with the color, yes. And I know I'm contradicting myself because I manifested for them to come out with the white. Thinking in reality, not just manifestation, I just feel like anything white, especially a white bag, it's gonna get dirty. It definitely aged more. It shows more wear and tear. It turns like a yellowish color over time. And I just, I don't know, for what I'm paying, I don't want that to happen, right? Where you're carrying it, where you're placing it, our hands, our hands are hella dirty and dreamy. And because of this size, we are definitely gonna, you know, carry it more on the top handle. So top handles, definitely going to show more wear and tear. The sunlight, something you don't really think about, but the sun oxidize a lot of things, especially bright color things. Also color transfer like denim. Oh my gosh. Blue denim dye on a white handbag is like the worst thing that can ever happen. Because of all these reasoning, I just, I just can't get past this color. I mean, she's gorgeous, but I do think she's a little bit high maintenance for 
what she is. For the second reason, it has to do with the price. Now again, it does retail for $325 USD. Personally, I think they should have made it around $285, $290. I think I would have been more okay with that. I know it's not like a big dramatic in price, but hey, a little bit of money is a savings, right? Now, when you compare the price of the micro to the mini, it is a $70 price difference. And honestly, in my opinion, I feel like it's better to spend that extra $70 get a bag that can work as an everyday or work bag it just fits more things you don't have to downside i think it's a better investment i'm not saying this is a bad size it's just i feel like you have more options with the mini for the last reason it has to do with my collection so if you're familiar with my coach mini cash and totes in the color chalk as you can see they literally look identical in terms of color but i just realized do i need two of the same handbags in the same color same size I really don't. Since I did make this video on the mini cash and tote, I've only used this probably like five times. I kid you not. And it really indicates to me that I'm just not a white type of handbag person. I mostly love my black handbags. With that being said, I really don't think I should keep another white bag knowing that I may not use it in the future. But I'm pretty sure this is not going to be the last time you will see this in my collection or in my video. I am praying they will come out with the color cement or some sort of like topish brown color. I do think I will purchase it in a micro size. Until then, we will see what color they will release in the future. Overall, if you can take anything away from this video, I would say don't buy this color. I know it looks classy and timeless. It looks chic. It will look so good for spring and summer. But honestly, long term wise, it's going to look hella dirty and it's going to devalue your bag. So definitely pick a different color on their website. I mean, the rose champagne color is probably a better option if you want something more on the neutral side. So there we have you guys, the two leather tote bags from Marc Jacobs. Definitely returning, definitely keeping. Let me know in the comments down below, what are your thoughts on the new micro leather tote bags? Do you love it? Do you hate it? And what are your thoughts on this color, wolf gray? Do you think it's a little bit underrated? <laughs> let me know with that being said you do you boo and of course i will talk to you guys soon in the next have a great one bye